what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today we have this 2020 toyota highlander hybrid vehicle and today we have something very special with this car so they call me because as you can see we have some lights on the dashboard and those lights won't go off they already calibrated the radar the blind spot system and all that this car was his, wasn't involved in a collision and well they clear all that and the weird thing about this car is that it doesn't have any codes in the system nothing stored it's all clean and we have those lights on and i've been doing a lot of research cannot find anyone or any data showing how to clear those lights um i already did the reset for the steering assist the line pretty much they did all of it and still no success with this car so i'm gonna show you really quick with the scanner that we don't have no codes at all and well this is something very new for me too i haven't seen anything like this and well if you have seen something like this before please comment and share uh, some knowledge because it will help a lot so i'm gonna try one thing first first the scanner and then i'm gonna try the computer i already bought the subscription for the uh, gts plus uh if you don't know what the gts is well this is like text stream but online and i'm gonna use this software in case i don't do nothing with the scanner because it's too new and we have a lot of systems to be scanned so let's just wait for the scanner to do its job really quick and as you can see we don't have no codes yet everything's just passing good let me see yep nothing nothing and well like i said this is something really new for me i haven't seen nothing like this uh, so let's just wait all right so as you can see no codes at all nothing it's all clean and well these lights usually turn on when you have a problem or you have a code store but i already drove the car a lot of times and nothing comes on comes on it's ready for smoke and we still have those lights it's just everything's just disabled and it doesn't have any lights at all like i mean codes store uh saying something about those lights it doesn't have any codes so for example on chevy whenever your light uh for the check engine comes on it turns off the stability uh this is something that's something uh, by factory is designed that, that way but for this car uh, I've seen it but only if there's a code like like a component failing or something it will trigger the light but also also with the with the um, with the engine on if some if, if if a code comes on it will turn on that light it will it will turn that light on too so we don't have anything here so what i'm gonna do is just gonna exit all this and i'm gonna turn off the scanner because i'm gonna use the usb interface i'm gonna use this and let's just bring this bad boy over here all right so for this to get access to this program you need to sign in to the uh the TIS website which is this one this website hold on and it's actually called techinfo.com it's right here so i chose the professional diagnostics for the day two days actually it's 70 dollars and after that you're gonna put your uh you're gonna put your email and create a password and all that and it's gonna send you an, e uh, an email to your email there you can click on it it will take you to a link and then you can download the software and it will look like this like this three all right so once you are all in just sign in and put your bci that you're gonna use connect it to the computer let's connect it right here just find the right spot Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. 
it's already connected and my BCI name is Maxi Flash BCI that's the one I have so once I click the next arrow it will, I will hear a beep there we go that means we have communication with this with the tool so now we're gonna connect with the vehicle there we go and as you can see we already got the communication 2020 Highlander hybrid I'm gonna press yes I mean the next the arrow next and let's just wait what we are gonna see here hopefully I clear these lights because they want these lights gone so let's just let's see what this uh, software online says all right as you can see this is the interface that I get so this is new I haven't seen anything like this and let's check let's do a health check and right here we have all the systems and let's see if we have something else store monitor incomplete okay so that's new i haven't seen that monitor status incomplete oh, <laughs> all right so as you can see this is something new this is a monitor right here it says incomplete that's for the engine and like I said this is something new for me you are experiencing this uh, like I'm seeing it for the first time uh, this is usually at the dealership what where, where they have this fancy software when you take your car over there and this is the first time I am experiencing it experiencing this interface so let me just play a little bit with it and let's see if we can get those lights off all right i'll be back all right guys so as you can see i already have some lights clear so as you can see i had the um the light for the stability and the way to clear the light is actually very simple actually the scanner has that that uh, function but for some reason it doesn't support it so what i did i went to this functions it's system select and I was having issues with the brake um, electronic brake switch but let me just do a health check really quick I'm gonna show you what's uh, the trick to clear those lights well those lights are on because there are codes stored like history codes for that and well we have to clear all those codes in order to gain access again for for all the systems so those things are called ROBs and we must have zero in all of them if we see uh, like a number on something like that like this one it's for the uh, recognition the recognition camera and the lane control so we must have uh, zero lights on those things so let me just click on one once it finishes uh, the hill check also we have in the pre-collision system we have four so we're gonna press this one it says would you like to stop the hell check and yes we're gonna stop it to do that and we see the lights are still blinking and we have the ignition on and the engine or uh, actually the ignition on and the engine off already off so we're gonna clear that data and we should have let's see come on come on okay so we have these codes right here store so we're gonna clear them clear data has been clear we're gonna read the data again Make sure we don't have any code store. Come on, come on. And there we go. We don't have no more codes in there. So let's just go back to the health check display. And we're going to go ahead and check the third, which is going to be the front recognition camera. Press yes again. And that's going to be for the lane assist. That one, it's in yellow. Which is going to wait a little bit longer. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
and we're gonna clear all this data press yes data has been clear we press ok ok again come on come on display all the data and we don't have any more codes there so we're just gonna go back to health display and now we go to line control we press yes we wait come on come on and we clear all this data again yes yes we press yes again come on come on come on and we have all the data clear already we go back to health check and scan again and yes and let's do this come on let's go let's go I'm gonna wait a little bit longer all right guys so I already for I already went for a test drive and as you can see we don't have any more lights all the systems are online and well I had to drive the car a little bit in order to clear all those lights and as you can see we have all the systems green so I will call this a problem solve and it was the first time I used this so if you have any questions guys please subscribe to the channel or comment down below turn notifications on like the video dislike the video if you didn't like it and well I hope you liked the information on this video um, I'll see you on the next episode you fix up bye <laughs>